The reason we're here outside the Natural History Museum is that, as you can see from the, uh, the posters, Veolia is sponsoring the Wildlife Photographer of the Year ex uh, uh, competition and exhibition here at the Natural History Museum. And the Natural History Museum should not be choosing a company of this sort supporting Israel's legal settlements. These pictures last week. Hmm? Quite a lot now, aren't they? Yeah, they've come from the end. The only one is sponsoring this wildlife exhibition here. So it's full of pretty pictures of lovely animals. But their real, their business, where their money comes from, is uh, waste disposal, and they work with the illegal settlements in uh, in the West Bank. It's the Palestine Solidarity uh, Campaign. Uh, we are demonstrating against uh, Veolia, the French multinational, which is supporting Israel's illegal settlements. They have a contract to run the light rail tramway service between West Jerusalem to the illegal settlements in East Jerusalem, entrenching these settlements, tying them in more closely to, to Israel, making peace uh, more difficult to achieve. They also run two bus services between Israel and then through illegal, two illegal settlements, then on to uh, Israeli West Jerusalem. And these settlements run through the West Bank. The West Bank Palestinians are not allowed to travel on, on that road. Uh, the third way they support these settlements is they run a landfill site in the occupied Jordan Valley called the Tovland landfill site. And this, uh, and they take refuse from Israel's illegal settlements in the Jordan Valley. So there's three ways they, they support them. The reason we're here at the Natural History Museum is that the Natural History Museum chose Veolia to sponsor the Veolia Wildlife Photographer of the Year exhibition. Uh, and the exhibition is actually coming to an end now. Its uh, last day is tomorrow. But they're also sponsoring the 2010 exhibition. And, and this will continue. And we do not think that Veolia is a suitable company for them to choose to sponsor such an, an exhibition. Uh, these settlements in many cases have involved the expropriation of Palestinian property and this is a grave breach of the Fourth Geneva Convention and is a war crime. So in this, Veolia is aiding and abetting Israel's war crimes and they should not be... Uh, the, the, the uh, Natural History Museum should not choose them to sponsor their ex exhibition and their competition. Right. And, uh, um uh, the uh, actions of Veolia in the occupied West Bank um, have on, on uh, Palestinian land is, is illegal in, uh, in the view of the UN. Um, what other action can people in London take? Because uh, Veolia are uh, heavily involved in our refuse and waste recycling here in London. That's, that's indeed true. And you can count they Londoners can campaign against their councils granting contracts to the area or even allowing for a bid to contract for contracts for uh, waste collection. And they're allowed to do this under the public contract regulations 2006, which say that you can exclude a company from bidding or getting a contract if it's guilty of grave misconduct. And what misconduct could be graver than aiding and abetting war crimes. Excellent. So people should contact their local uh, um, councillors? Indeed, yes. And uh, uh, no, there, there are contracts coming up for real, particularly if the council already employs uh, Veolia. When the contract comes up for renewal, they can be sure that Veolia, in this case it's uh, the division called Veolia Environmental Services, uh, they can be sure they'll be bidding for it. So this is a good, well in advance they need to do this. They, they need to get the, insist their councils do not let them uh, take part in the bidding. Lovely.
charity campaign members. Um, we've got a campaign on about boycotting Israeli goods, yeah. particularly settlement goods yeah. in the uh, illegally occupied West Bank. Um, we're here particularly today on the issue of Veolia, which is a multinational company who have dealings um, in a contract with the Israeli authorities to build um, a light railway from linking settlements in the illegal settlements in the Palestinian areas to East, Jeru to East Jerusalem and Jerusalem, wider Jerusalem, to link up uh, effectively taking even more land from the Palestinians. So Veolia is a big multinational company which has contracts with a lot of local authorities in the, in the UK. Our local one, Lambeth, um, has contracts for refuse collection, street cleaning, all sorts of things. And we're trying to get, they are building this like railroad, we're trying to get them to, the local authority, to cease tendering, cease making contracts with this company, which is supporting, we think, the, the Israeli state in its colonisation of the um, West Bank. The reason we're here is because they have sponsored an exhibition in this gallery. Yeah. So we decided to demonstrate outside to draw people's attention to these issues. Cool. Yeah, so it's, it's not really it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Israel bombed it! What happened to equality in Gaza? Israel bombed it! 